friends and uh, members of the train good morning to all of you on the historical location of the rolling out of gst from 1st july many outreach programs are being conducted by the department as well as the trade bodies to facilitate the trade to understand the nuances of the new tax structure and the compliance mechanism i am quite happy that fabc is today organizing one such important uh, seminar and quite glad that i am uh, being associated with that essentially the crux of implementation of gst revolves around the compliance of the procedures by the taxpayers therefore these compliance procedures should be easy and simple to adopt and enhance the ease of doing business important procedures that are needed to be complied by the taxpayers include registration raising of invoice clearing of documents clearance documents and filing of returns payment of taxes availment of input credit carrying forward your uh, liabilities and the credit balances into the new regime through the transitional provisions these are the some of the issues which will be discussed in today's seminar before uh, you people get enriched through the various topics i would like to briefly touch upon these points so that the respected speakers go deep into the issues and say how these important complex procedures are important for the trade to switch over to the new regime firstly i would like to say as far as registration is concerned as you are all aware the existing ssc's have been migrated to the re- new regime so that they can continue their business without any break and as uh, madam rohini madam has already said lot of ssc's have already migrated and in fact uh, i would say in uh, our experience in manufacturing side is concerned absolutely 100% are uh, migrated only few service tax ssc's are left over but there is nothing to regret because as already said the window is again being opened from 25th june so that these left over ssc's in the present tax structure can complete their registration in any case your business will not get affected and all the existing ssc's would be allotted temporary registration so that their activities continue unhindered subject to fulfillment of filing of the details and uploading the required documents within the time frame prescribed the registration of the new units business verticals isd these will be rolled out once the after the new appointed date for the purpose of registration various documents in support of the facts mentioned in the registration applications are required to be filed the requirement of filing the application with digital signature e verification though apparently may look quite challenging but it improves the compliance level in the registration process so that accurate data is captured then coming to the uh, returns various formats of the re- returns have already been prescribed depending on the type of uh, business you are in for instance uh, different returns are prescribed for regular tax payers for the people who are going to opt for composition and e-commerce operators who are required to pay and deduct the tax at source so different types of uh, returns are prescribed i'm sure all these will be discussed in the seminar today apart from this we also have a return prescribed for cancelling the returns at the end of the year with the returns filed so that to eliminate to all the discrepancies and the return filing involves entry of invoice level details so as to facilitate auto population of the same in recipient's account for matching the input tax credit the provisions regarding recovery of credit in case the supplier doesn't pay the tax appear a bit harsh but nevertheless they are aimed at improving the compliance mechanism as well as proper distribution of taxes between the center and states which is the heart of the federal structure payment of taxes essentially results in revenue generation for the government the payments are facilitated through gst network and in the new system you also have the facility to make the payments through new modes like paying through credit card and debit card the real transfer of funds is contemplated so that the tax are paid before the same are utilized for payment for the payment provisions create an overhead for defaulting tax payers in order to discourage them from defaulting i am quite sure all of you agree in a tax regime where the autonomy is granted to the tax payer to carry on his activities without any interference from the department some such strict measures are warranted so that you know it is ensured that highest level of compliance is there the seamless transfer of input tax credit which is the heart of gst regime is being executed by the twin principles of auto population of invoice and itc matching online this facilitates destination based consumption tax a reality which is 
the core principle of gst the provisions regarding distribution of ineligible credits by the isd distributors is also a step in this direction however i may point out that there are challenges for the trade in availing the credit as the same is liable to be recovered from the receiver along with the interest in case the tax is not paid by the supplier similarly there are some provisions to dissolve the credit even though the supplier has paid the tax if the receiver fails to make the payment to the supplier within time these are the some how the important issues which are part of the compliance mechanism which you need to keep in mind finally i would also like to touch on the aspect of transitional provisions because that is something which we are immediately concerned provisions have been made for true smooth transfer of balance of credit into the new regime provisions have also been enacted pro- providing deemed credit in respect of stocks without taxable documents i have been uh, coming across so many points being raised by the trade and through the representation saying that 40% or 60% credit that is deemed credit that is being allowed even if you don't have invoice is insufficient especially when somebody has received the items which are where mrp is the basis for payment of tax i am sure the respected speaker shri pb supara sir would like to address these concerns on this specific aspect of transitional credit i hope that the session on compliance procedures under gst would make the taxpayers understand the onus cast on them and prepare them ready for sailing into the very smoothly into the new tax regime the problems if you still anticipate can be discussed and brought to the notice of the government so that appropriate remedy can be designed i am sure all of you might have seen statement given by chairperson cbc which has appeared in the business standard and business line also the other day she said uh, the focus of the department is definitely facilitation and hand holding in the new regime there will not be any apprehensions and in fact in our interaction with uh, her also she was emphasizing on this aspect and the challenge to the department is to ensure that the trade the roll out of the new regime will not cause any hardship to the trade this is the focus with which we are working and i'm sure all of will you have the will be switching over to the new regime without any problems all the best